Today we're welcoming uh, new signing Joe Bunny to Altrincham Football Club. Uh, Joe played in the uh, final pre-season uh, game at Huddersfield Town and uh, had a very successful uh, debut and has now signed for Altrincham Football Club. First of all, uh, Joe, looking at that game, um, you played two roles. You played left side of the uh, central defence in the first half and then left back in uh, the second half and... Uh, you looked a very natural left back to me, but um, that wasn't where you started your football. It wasn't, no. Uh, obviously, we were talking before off camera and, uh, and uh, started my career as a centre forward. So, throughout my career, I've, I've learned to be versatile and play in different positions. Uh, obviously, a lot of managers like that, and it adds another string to my bow. You looked very comfortable in that uh, second half down the left-hand side. We played some really good stuff. It was only a pre-season friendly, but uh, it's, uh, it was the foundation of a fantastic uh, victory at uh, Torquay United on, uh, on Saturday. Um, but you seem to fit in with the style of football that Altrincham uh, play, and you seem very comfortable. Definitely, yeah. I mean, knowing a few lads is, is always a good thing. I know Tomo, uh, I know Cozzy and I know a few lads, so that's easy to settle in. But I've heard nothing but good things about Aldringham and the way they play football. And when I come in on, on Saturday, like you say, against Huddersfield, I felt comfortable in getting on the ball and, and playing, yeah, and enjoyed it. And you start, you're a Manchester lad and you started uh, life in, in non-league football and, in fact, uh, played your you one game against Aldringham yeah. in an FA Youth Cup game. I did, yeah. Uh, ten years ago now, I think, uh, 2011, I played here in, uh, for Lancaster City youth team uh, in the FA Youth Cup here. Fortunately, we got beat, uh, but Duncan Watmore was part of that team as well, so uh, I remember it fondly. Yeah, it, was, it was a good game. Tell us about you, your early career in non-league. Uh, I went to Myers School College uh, for two years. Instead of doing a YT, uh, I went there, so I studied basically... Uh, sports science at, at Myers School College and played in non-league alongside that at Lancaster City and then went to Kendall Town uh, and then the manager at Kendall Town took me to Northwich Victoria with him uh, and then from Northwich Victoria ended up getting my move to uh, Rochdale. Yeah, Northwich is where you sort of made your, your name and that was a big, big move into the Football League and, and Rochdale was a big part of your career. Definitely, yeah. Uh, I've got fond memories of Rochdale and a lot of love for that club. My family has. I was there a long time. Uh, gave me my chance in, in the Football League. Um, I was there seven seasons and I was promoted from League Two to League One there. So, yeah, it was a massive part of my career. Yeah. And that eventually led to uh, a move for an undisclosed fee to Northampton. It did, yeah, uh, with a change of position along the way. Um, but, yeah, I, I come to... My time at Rochdale, where it was time for something different, uh, so I explored and went to Northampton. Um, yeah, and I just felt like I needed that time, a change in my career. Uh, I was at Rochdale a long time, but yeah, I thought something fresh. And Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank uh, gave me a call, and I just I just went on uh, a new journey really, and just to see if I could explore another side of my career, moving away from home and stuff like that. So you were a striker and scoring goals and then all of a sudden you're a left back. So tell us exactly what happened and how that happened. Uh, a bit of a strange scenario to be fair. I, fi I finished um, the season strongly as a centre forward. Uh, I think I scored nine in 11 games in League One. Uh, I came back the following pre-season with a bit of a knock. Um, I played in a reserve game behind closed doors as a left wing back. Uh, the manager at the time, Keith Hill, said, look, I just want you to get a bit of a sweat on, play half a game. Uh, you missed a couple of games, so just get a bit of a sweat on. Uh, and I'll take you off, said that's fine. So I played there as a left wing back, uh, done really well. Uh, and then it just stuck. He, he pulled me in the office on a Thursday and said, look, I'm going to play your left back on Saturday. Played really well again on the Saturday uh, and it just it just stuck and I ended up doing really well there and finishing the season there. So off to Northampton, how did that go? Uh, it was OK, I, I enjoyed it. It was a great football club. Um, the manager I signed for, Jimmy Floyd, at the time uh, was sacked on left a couple of a couple of months later so the new manager came in and things didn't quite work out uh, but I ended up back on loan to Blackpool and, and Rochdale uh, and then to Bolton so yeah it was a good time at that football club but yeah things work out in football sometimes they don't. And it was Keith Hill who, who had managed you before at Rochdale who, who brought you back to, to Bolton? He did yeah I got a phone call in a week of him saying he was going to get a Bolton job uh, it was a no-brainer for me to go back and work with Keith I've got a lot of respect for Keith uh, he's been part of my career like I say at Rochdale for seven eight years I've learned a lot from him and Bolton was a massive football club and a great opportunity so yeah it was one I couldn't turn down 
And you're looking to get back into the Football League, but you did actually come down training uh, last season for a short period of time before eventually getting a move to, to Hartlepool, which obviously is a full-time club. Yeah, exactly. I had a bit of an injury, um, as people probably know, but um, I was getting I was getting back fit and um, I spoke to the manager here about coming in just to take over and get some sessions in. Obviously, like I said before, I know the way they play and the way they train, it's a good intensity. Uh, obviously, my desire was to get back into the EFL, which ended up working out well, but I'm back here now. I know the way they play, I know the way they train and hopefully I can help them go into the Football League themselves. So you've got recent experience of playing in the National League and the Football League. And, you know, it's a big, big question that we've discussed quite a lot. But what would you say is the difference between National League and League Two? Uh, there's not a lot of difference, if I'm totally honest with you. Um, just the way, like I say, people train and the intensity of training and the way people play and the understanding of the game. I've seen everything that I've seen in the league here at Ultra Game in my short time of being here. And like you say, in training last year, in the way they played, the manager, the way he wants to play. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm positive about about being here. There's nothing that I've seen in that Hartlepool dressing room last year that I don't see here, uh, and they've gone on and got promoted. So let's see what happens. And your last club that you played for was a team that was a football league club and is now in the national league. Yeah. The town. <laughs> yeah. Again, uh, I, I signed there in January. Uh, it was a quick turnaround for Paul as the manager. He came in under difficult circumstances. Had to sign eight or nine players and. We had a good squad together there, but unfortunately it was a little bit too little too late. Um, I think if he'd gone in at the start of the season, it, they'd have been comfortably staying in that division, but it was a little bit too late and unfortunately they're back in the league and uh, hopefully they can bounce back. Yes, the second time they've been relegated to the National League and they managed to get out after six or seven years last time. This time I think it's going to be very difficult for them because there's a huge amount of resource at the clubs in this league. Definitely, yeah. I mean... Year on year, the, the conference gets bigger and bigger and bigger uh, and bigger clubs, uh, bigger fans. There's a lot more people watching it now. There's a lot more money and owners being pumped into it to support clubs to try and get into the EFL. So definitely the competition's there, uh, but there's no reason why Ultra Grim can't be one of them that's up there and, and get promoted. And you're a, a full-back and that's a bit of a dangerous position as an Ultra Grim player at the moment because we, they seem to be dropping like nine pins. But um, you're going to bring something different uh, to the club because you're very, very uh, tall for a, a full-back. And you remind me very much of, of James Jones, a, a player who was uh, had uh, three successful seasons at Altrincham Football Club at centre-half and has now gone on to the Football League with Barrow. Yeah, I mean, obviously I'm, I'm, I'm a tall full-back, like you say, uh, which is very rare. Uh, but I like to attack and get assists and be involved. But I also think I can bring my experience to... To the rest of the lads that haven't played in the EFL, you know, I'm a winner. I want, I want to win every game. Uh, I have standards, so hopefully I can, I can say, pass my experience on to other lads and, and we can have a successful season. And 27, you're in the prime of your career, really? I'd like to think so, yeah. Um, I think because I've been obviously injured the uh, last 12 months and had a few ups and downs, but I'd like to think I'm, I'm, I'm on a rebuild phase now and I'm here to get fully fit and to take hold and come up the league. And you, you had a stint at, at Hartlepool uh, last uh, season and they ended up having a, a, a fantastic season and have got promoted back to the Football League, which I'm sure is where they feel that, that they belong. But um, good, squad, good squad at Hartlepool and very good uh, football inside. Dave Chalner's done a great job. He has. I've got a lot of respect for Dave. Obviously, like I say, I, I came in there for a month. Uh, they had an injury. I came in and filled in for a month and played four or five games, done really well and ended up moving on to Grimsby. But like I said before, there's nothing that I see in there that I don't see here in this group. One thing they did have was a good group of lads and a good squad, uh, more than just on the pitch. But off the pitch, they all got on and they stuck together. I said. And before um, I came in here, I knew that anyway through knowing Tony and knowing because it's a good group of lads here, but I've witnessed it now firsthand by being here the last couple of weeks. Uh, and like I said, there's nothing to stop this team going up. And, and do you think your days as a centre forward are over, or can you see that uh, happening again? I don't know, you'll have to ask the gaffer and see what he thinks. I don't know if we're um, losing a game or drawing a game. Uh, I can still do a job up there if we need a goal or whatever, but listen, I'm versatile. If I'm needed there, I'll, I'll play there, I'll play where I'm asked, um, and wherever suits the team's best, to be honest. So. That's the thoughts of uh, Joe Bunny, Altrincham's uh, latest uh, signing, and uh, he will be available for our next encounter, which is against FC Halifax Town on Bank Holiday Monday.